Hey robot makers, do you know what a watchdog timer is and you want to know why you want to use one? Then keep watching. So what is a watchdog timer anyway? A watchdog is a guard dog that's used to guard a property against unwanted or unexpected people or animals and let the people that it does know pass without any kind of concern. A watchdog timer is similar in that it's used to detect unwanted or unexpected conditions on your computer, malfunctions and so on, and recover from them gracefully. So what are they used for? So if you want to make something that keeps running forever, particularly like an embedded system, and you want to make sure it can recover from critical conditions, so say something hangs or something unexpected happens with your code or the chip locks up, we want this to continue running. This is the Big Mouth Billy Bass Fish project that I did recently, and it has a Raspberry Pi Pico inside it, and it runs for about three days and then crashes. So we refer to this technique as patting the dog and feeding it too. Much like a regular guard dog, we need to keep this dog happy by patting it on the head, feeding it food. So watchdog timers are built into the hardware. This is something that comes as a part of the Raspberry Pi Pico, Pico W, ESP32 and so on. And a watchdog timer or WDT is a timer that counts down from a number to zero. And when it hits zero, that's when it will restart the device. So to stop the watchdog timer from reaching zero and resetting the hardware, we call the timer periodically and this restarts the timer from counting down from that number again. We call this patting the dog. So the dog will remain happy as long as we keep patting it and keep feeding it. So let's have a look how we would do this in MicroPython. So the first thing we need to do is we need to import the watchdog timer from the machine library. We now need to give this a timeout value. This would give it one second and then it would restart our machine. So let's try this out. Let's, let's create a little while true loop first. And let's just put a sleep function in here as well. And we're gonna sleep for a quarter of a second to see if this kicks in. So let's run this. It'll ask us to save it on the Pico. Oh, missed out the colon there. Right, let's try this again. We're gonna run this. So it says alive four times, so four quarters of a second and then it's reset the device so we can see here lost connection use stop start to reconnect so let's stop and start and let's try making this go to 10 seconds and what we'll do as well this time we'll create a count and we'll make this equal 10 and then each time we go around we will then say count minus equals one and instead of printing alive we shall print count let's make that sleep one second at a time Okay, let's run this again and see what happens. So it's gonna count down and it'll get to about nine, about one second and then it will reset. Here we go, and it's reset. So it didn't quite make it to the final one second, but we started counting at 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then on the 10th second, it killed. So how do we stop this from happening? So if we put in here that we are going to feed that will ensure that we can carry on running this forever. So let's stop this and restart it and see what happens now that we've got the feed in there. We're gonna pat the dog and give it some food. So it's gonna count down, five, four, three, two, one, and it carries on. So by feeding it, we've made sure that that watchdog timer never gets to zero. In fact, it resets it back to the 10 seconds again. It'll carry on running forever or until our device has a problem. So let's do some experiments and see how long can we have for a timeout? What's reasonable? So we've tried 10 seconds, that worked fine. Let's now try 20 seconds and see if that works. I'll speed this up and time lapse so you don't have to wait the full 20 seconds. And there we go. It's got to about 10 seconds again. So that seems to be about the maximum timeout that we can actually provide to the watchdog timer. So as long as we complete whatever work we want within that 10 seconds and we pat the dog, we feed it, then it will never reach that zero point and then reset the device. So our device will carry on working in the way that we expect. So wherever we have our main loop, we can put this in there. So I've updated the code on the Big Mouth Billy Bass Fish so that if there's any problems, it will automatically restart itself and carry on. So I hope you enjoyed this short video. If you want to check out the Big Mouth Billy Bass Fish project, you can head over to mouthpie.co and you can have a play with it yourself. So I hope you enjoyed this and I shall see you next time. Bye for now.